Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Word Hero long form editor. This is going to be used to write all your long form content like blogs, articles, heck, you can even use it for scripts if you like. If you'd like to follow along and get a special deal on this, I will put a link down below for Word Hero. Depending on where you get it, this can either be an upgrade or a part of the monthly plan. I'm just saying that because I know the lifetime deal will eventually end, you know, so in case there's any confusion. Either way, what you want to do is when you're at the home page, you're going to click on editor and that's going to take you to this right here. So they've made a few changes when it comes to Word Hero, but overall, this is very easy to do. In the beginning, all you really need to focus on is creating a title. So once, if you can write a title, then you can literally have AI create an entire article for you. Give me a sec. I'm going to come up with a title and then we'll go from there. Okay. So here we go. I put the best tips for golfers who want to improve their game. That's all I have here now. So at the top, we have a few things. We have the create new document. We have open a document. You can save. This is going to be the advanced options. And of course, if you need any help, these are going to be the main three buttons you want to use here. Now you can always use the templates on the left side. However, you could just simply use this if you want. So if we click on this, it's going to create a blog outline. If we click on this, we can create our paragraph. So there's going to be an intro, whether it's a headline, excuse me, content for a headline or a conclusion. And of course, we can just have it write more, which is always cool. So all we need to do now that we have a title, if we click on this, it's going to generate a blog outline. And when it does it, it kind of types it out slowly. So I'm going to click on this. And once it's done, I'll show you what we have. And then we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So here we have it. Uh, our introduction, we have our next headline, which is going to be what we talk about. So not only did we get an outline for this, we got a little bit more in between. But for this, I'm just going to delete this. Because uh, what we can do is just make it right from each of the sub sub headlines here. It's cool that we have that. If we liked what it wrote, we can just have it write more. But I'm just going to do it completely kind of bare bones, you know, from here. So what I want to do is practice makes perfect. I'm going to put when it comes to golf. And the reason I'm doing that so I can give it more context, because I could put practice makes perfect and that could be for almost anything, right? So all I need to do is highlight this and actually I'm getting ahead of myself. We have our introduction. So what I can do is highlight this right here and then click on this button right here. As it says, write an intro from title or section body from highlighted section content. So let's click on this and see what we get. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is delete this. Let's just say we have our introduction paragraph there. So golf is a popular sport enjoyed by people of all skill levels. Regardless of your ability, there are ways to improve your golf game. It actually gives you a few tips in the beginning, which is cool. So then what we can do is add a little bit more. So something like aside from those tips, let's talk more about how you can really improve your golf game. Okay, so now we would move on to this section. So practice makes perfect when it comes to golf. I'm going to highlight this and let's generate some content based upon that specific headline. All right, so I scrolled down a little bit, but this is excellent. This is what it gave us for that specific paragraph. It talks about how it's a difficult sport to master. It takes years. And then despite the fact this is already a sub headline, it gave us kind of like bullet points or numbers, even more reasons about, you know, why you should do it or how you should do it. So what I can do is highlight this. Let's just make it an H2 so we know it's a headline. And then, of course, we have that section right there. Let's do that for the next one too. get a golf coach. What I want to do is highlight this and then give me a second. I'm going to click on this button and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we go. This one was a little bit less. That's fine. So when you're just starting out playing golf, it's important to have a coach to help you improve your game. They can teach you the basic techniques, help you correct your mistakes. If you're serious about it, cool. So what we can actually do is going to be this button. Remember, write more after cursor or highlighted text. So what I can do is highlight this and let's write a little bit more. Say we need a little bit more words in that specific uh, sub headline, right? Or the H2. So let's click on that. Okay, so here we go. It goes, you'll be glad you did. If you want to become a good golfer, then you need to understand what it takes to be a good golfer and all the things that go into making a good golfer. A little bit too much in terms of good golfer for my liking. So what we can do is just write it again. All right, cool. So that was a, a separate section. Not bad. Determine what you want from a coach. So I like that. Do you want someone to help you improve your swing or just on your mental game? Whatever it's going to be. Those are good questions to ask. So use a golf simulator. Let's highlight this. And let's do the paragraph. Cool, not bad. Are you looking for a way to improve your golf game? If so, you may want to consider a golf simulator. They improve your backswing, club head speed, your contact, and so on and so forth. And once again, what I'm going to do is just make this an H2 so we know. Obviously, we could spiffy that up. Like, if you really want to improve golf, make sure you consider getting a golf coach. This is just kind of quickly going through so that you know each of these sections is that. Watch the video tutorials. I think we talked about lessons a little. So watch. 
golf video tutorials in order to improve. Once again, let's highlight this and let's click on the paragraph. Okay, so in order to improve your golf game, you don't need to spend hours on the course. You can watch tutorials and so on and so forth. Once again, let's get a little bit more. So let's highlight this and let's click on this button right here where it says write more. Okay, so add a little A in there. Let's delete that. If you're a beginner, these tutorials will certainly help you learn the basics of the game. You can take your game to the next level and so on and so forth. So pretty cool. We did a few subheadlines here. Let's say we want to move to a conclusion. Now, I'm going to show you how you can also use these as well. Let's highlight this. Let's say we have that for a title. We have blog conclusions. And what we want to do is just put our title in there. Let's click on right for me. Actually move down here first. In conclusion, following these tips can help any golfer improve their game. Practice makes perfect. Go to the range, stay focused. Uh, not bad. I'm going to click on that. It's going to copy it. I'm just going to paste it down here. And what we can do is just put conclusion. Make that an H2 so that we know to header. And just like that, we have a very quick and easy golfing article. Obviously, you can expand upon that. This is only 643 words, but obviously the intro is good. Uh, conclusion is quick. Some of these are pretty quick as well. And in fact, that's a good amount of content for each. How you're going to obviously lengthen this, say if you want to get a thousand or more, you can add more tips here. Like aside from getting a golf coach, uh, you can go to the green more. You can practice your chipping and putting. Make sure you practice all those hard shots, uh, whatever you're doing the worst on. Go, go with golf buddies. They can help you. But I think you get the idea. That's an overall very quick overview of the uh, long form editor that comes with Word Hero. If you'd like to try that out, feel free to check out the link down below. What I like about Word Hero the most is that they have unlimited content. So you can write as much content as you want. It might not be the fastest in the world. Like I cut out the parts where once you click on write, it's going to show each of the words coming up one by one, but not the worst thing in the world. It's still great that you do get unlimited content. And like I said, I bring that up a lot because it is a very big perk of being able to create a lot of content for your online business. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once, once again, the link will be down below for Word Hero in case you want to try them out yourself. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.